Welcome to ABC 31 News Tonight. I'm Scott Beadle. Tonight's big story. Grand deputies say they've made a slew of arrests for drugs, theft, and one where gasoline was poured on someone. Deputies arrested at 56-year-old Marlon Ashmore and 26-year-old Andrea Bennett, both of dry prom on drug charges. 21-year-old William Waters Jr. of Bentley is charged with burglary and theft. A drug charge is leveled against 39-year-old Carrie Lloyd Hudson of Pineville after a traffic stop. Deputies say a fight resulted in the arrest of a Mississippi man and a juvenile for allegedly beating a Pollock man and then dousing him with gasoline. And 46-year-old Elizabeth Newman of Pineville was stopped for a traffic violation and subsequently arrested for drugs. A Marksville couple is arrested for trying to pass counterfeit $100 bills at a drive through on North Boulevard. 26-year-old Chancey Johnson and 24-year-old Alyssa Chambers are both charged with monetary instrument abuse. Police say yesterday the drive through clerk recognized a bill as a fake and called authorities. Officers say they found the woman in a bathroom trying to set a wad of the bills on fire and flush them. Alexandria police say they've arrested six for home burglaries over the weekend. They are 19-year-old Cedric McCree and Donald Foster, Dion Thomas, Chinovich, and Rufus Morris, all age 17, as well as one unnamed juvenile. They are all from Alexandria. Officers say the break-ins happened on Jackson, Chester, and Vance Avenues. Grant deputies arrest a firefighter from the Pollock Fire Department for allegedly charging more than $11,000 for personal items on the department credit card. Christy Dunn is charged with unauthorized use and malfeasance. A Mexican citizen pleads guilty in federal court to lying on a passport application he submitted at the Morgan City Post Office. He is 32-year-old Jose Luis Andrade Diaz. He faces up to 10 years in prison when he's sentenced in Alexandria, coming up in October. Heat and humidity are creating some unstable conditions across central Louisiana. Meteorologist Ross Whitley is here with a first look at your forecast. Yeah, those temperatures out there right around our seasonable average for this time of year, but it is not the heat that's been the problem. It's the humidity. Our dew points are 72 right now. We're going to continue to see dew points in the 70s for the rest of the week. And of course, that means we're going to see those pop up showers and thunderstorms moving rather slowly today. 89 degrees normal for this time of year. 90 degrees set in a 100 degrees back in 2011. Look at that low record set back in 1896. It's a long standing low there. We have picked up a trace of precipitation so far for the day today. Showers and thunderstorms around the area will continue to move through. Of course, we'll monitor those as they do, and we'll have all the details on the heat, the humidity, and the storms coming up just a little bit. All right, thank you very much, Ross. Let's all authorities say a DeVille woman they reported missing has been located. They say the Rapids Parish Sheriff's Office helped in locating Amanda Hargis Hayes. Members of the Louisiana College community are mourning the death of a favorite teacher, Dr. Sarah Francis Sanders. Services are Thursday morning in the chapel of Hickson Brothers Funeral Home in Pineville with burial in West Monroe. She taught at Louisiana College from 1962 until her retirement in 1993 when she was named Professor Emeritus of Sociology. She was renowned for her civic work as well as her dedication to her Baptist faith. Anders was 90 years old. Community Coffee is coming up on their 100 year anniversary. They joined the Rotary Club today as they celebrate 100 years. Well, we've been invited here to speak to the Rotarians in Alexandria as they recognize their 100th year of service in the area. I'm here to share stories about Community Coffee, uh, our story, our rich heritage as we approach our 100th anniversary in 2019. There's a rich coffee heritage and story in Louisiana and South Louisiana, but really it's, it's greater than New Orleans. New Orleans always was a traditional port for coffee. Matter of fact, in the 1700s, there were hundreds of coffee houses in New Orleans, but that's where they did business. They, they called them a coffee house. But through the Acadiana, through South Louisiana, the Gulf Coast coffee has always been part of our heritage. We like to believe that it is the epicenter and the beginning of coffee here in the United States. And Community Coffee is the number one selling coffee brand in the state of Louisiana. The Rapids Pioneers were honored last night for their accomplishments in eight different disciplines at the Youth Hunter Education Challenge Competition at Camp Grant Walker. Boys and girls placed 15th in the competition and are eligible to move on to the national competition. In addition to the Pioneers doing well, they each received one or more awards for different categories. 
The new state police commander is not so new. Colonel Kevin Reeves has been serving since March as the interim chief. Governor John Bell Edwards made the official appointment today, saying Reeves has done an exceptional job and won praise across the state. A native of Baton Rouge, he's a graduate of Louisiana Tech and has served in Baton Rouge and in Monroe. Fort Polk honored the outgoing and incoming garrison commanders this morning. These officers act much like mayors for the sprawling Fort Polk campus. Colonel Jarrett Thomas is a native of Ohio, and Sergeant Major Jerry Dodson is from Kansas. They succeed Colonel David Greg Athey and Command Sergeant Major David Pitt, who are now headed to San Antonio. The Alexandria Mall teamed up with the Amerigroup to kick off the Summer Kids World event. The event will include arts and crafts and much more. So what we have going on today is that we are sponsoring an event here at the Alexandria Mall. Um, it's a Kids World event. It's a two-part series. Uh, today was the first. And uh, we have the Agona Branch Library here reading stories to the children. And it was about manners. The theme was about manners. And then we uh, enjoyed a coloring activity. Summer Kids World is on the second Tuesday of each month. June 13th, July 11th, and August 8th, all at 11 a.m. Well, let's go to camp is the theme for summer camp this year at Tall Timbers. Kids camp at Tall Timbers Baptist Conference Center welcomes church groups from around Louisiana and neighboring states for a week of excitement. Campers get the experience of sleeping in cabins and lodges, while also learning religious lessons and participating in a wide range of indoor and outdoor activities. It's an opportunity for kids to come and just get away from their daily life, get away from all the distractions they have in life, and to focus on what God wants to teach them in their life, and to focus on what God has intended for them. We do that with fun, we do that with activities, we do that with Bible studies, we do that with worship time. It's just a chance for the kids to come away and just be kids. My favorite thing so far was the bazooka ball. Mine would probably be gaga ball. Bazooka ball because I have a great experience of having fun with other people. Archery, pedal boats, zip lines, and Bible study sessions are just a few of the things campers participate in. This camp is for second through sixth graders. The rest of the camps for this summer are full, but if you do want to learn more, you can visit the Tall Timbers Baptist Conference Center website. Brainhurst Junior Golf Clinic is back again this summer and is free for ages 8 to 15. If you want to sign your child up, just visit the historic Brainhurst Golf Course between 8 and 12 every Tuesday or Wednesday this month. What we're hoping is that they can make some friends, uh, learn a lifetime sport, and, and just get an appreciation for the game. Well, my mom was researching stuff and she found this camp and she asked me if I wanted to do it and I said yeah. Well, it's, it, it's just been really fun. It's been relaxing. It's, I met new people here, and I, I just had a lot of fun. So, um, I think it's good because it teaches you how to play golf and how to get your stance while you're doing golf. Brainhurst Junior Golf Clinic does still have a few spots open. Justine Kerr currently holds the title of Miss Louisiana, but she will be passing her crown on this month at the 2017 Miss Louisiana pageant. I am coming up on the end of my year as Miss Louisiana 2016. We crown a new Miss Louisiana June 24th, and it has been a year of experiences, new opportunities, so many new people that I've gotten to meet, and I've just been incredibly thankful to have this year because I think without the title of Miss Louisiana, many of these experiences I would never have had in my actual life. So I've met many people throughout the state, driven over 27,000 miles oh, wow. in the state of Louisiana, so it's been an incredible journey and opportunity, and I'm just so excited for the next girl who gets to be Miss Louisiana. And you can catch the 2017 Miss Louisiana pageant on Saturday, June 24th. In an effort to fight childhood obesity, 4-H leaders in St. Mary Parish put together a healthy living program that emphasized diets and exercise. The program took place on the Chittimaca Indian Reservation, and LSU Ag Center correspondent Craig Gotro has the story. Childhood obesity is a problem in Louisiana, and getting young people active early in life can be instrumental in developing healthful habits. 4-H leaders in St. Mary Parish developed a fun, healthy living campaign for students on the Chittimacha Indian Reservation. 
We have the fourth highest rate of childhood obesity, so we want to get kids moving and, and have fun while they're moving. Fun was one component of the day, but there was also competition. The competitive nature of some of the activities gave some students incentive to try harder. Sometimes when you are teaching them, that's the problem. It's not only teaching, you need to make it fun, you need to get the idea of competition, even though it's not the true competition that you're going to win or lose, but the kids see that part and that's what they want to do. The participants ranged from pre-K to eighth grade and also had different skill levels. Designing a program to fit such varied ages proved challenging. One of the things I love about yoga is you can draw out different kids who maybe don't shine in other ways in physical activities, but maybe they've got great balance, so you can recognize them and encourage them. Kennedy Williams is a member of the 4-H Food and Fitness Board and was in charge of one of the 12 stations. She stressed to students the importance of physical activity. I think they learned that they really need to get outside and be more active because a lot of them were saying like they don't do this on a regular basis and I had to make sure they knew how important it was because kids don't know how to do that anymore. The program finished with a color run which the students had specifically requested. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Craig Gotro reporting. Another unique component of the program is that the Tutamacha Indian Reservation is the only reservation in the country on original tribal lands. Enter to win a carport from Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. An $800 value in the color of your choice, plus option to upgrade to something bigger at Quality Outdoor Products. To enter, register online, on Facebook or Twitter. Enter daily to increase your chances of winning. This carport could be yours from KLAX TV and Quality Outdoor Products in Leesville. See official rules at KLAXTV.com. Hi, meteorologist Ross Whitley got a current look at our satellite and radar here and watching a few showers and storms move right over the top of us as we speak. And it's all thanks to these storms that popped up earlier today and you notice they kind of died down and then these storms popped up. That's thanks to an outflow boundary and basically what happens is those storms go up, they come back down, outflow boundary goes out and then that helps lift air around that storm and create new storms. So that's what we're seeing out there just scattered to widely scattered. Really most of the concentration of storms now is just on top of us and to our east. Elsewhere, it's mainly clear out there and we'll continue to watch these showers and storms kind of pop up and die as we go throughout the rest of the afternoon into the evening. Tonight's forecast right around 71 degrees, partly cloudy. Our dew points at 72, so not foresee unforeseeable that we'll get down to around 71, 72. Just about a 20% chance of rain overnight tonight, but we'll see that jump back up as we get into the day tomorrow as well. So unlike today where we had the chance of showers this morning, we're not going to have any chance of showers for tomorrow morning. Pretty clear out there as you wake up, but you'll notice 71 will probably be right where our dew point is as well. So it'll be 100% relative humidity out there, and so it's going to feel very nasty when you wake up. And then as we head into the noon hour, we warm back up into the mid 80s, could even get closer to 85, 86 as we go through the noon hour, and then probably to the low 90s before those storms start popping up once again, and a 60% chance of rain by the afternoon and early evening, not unlike what we saw today. Weather headlines as we go throughout the rest of the week, hot and humid, scattered thunderstorms in the afternoon, very summer like pattern and yeah, summer is knocking on the door astronomically speaking and the heat index values. That's the heat. What we have as temperature plus the relative humidity added and that's what it feels like outside. We're going to have the heat index values this week reaching the upper 90s, 98, 99. Now you don't have heat advisories here until we reach 105 and 110, but 98 is it's, it's hot. It's sweltering out there and that's what when you sweat, it won't evaporate. So take it a little bit extra cautious if you're outside this week, if you have to spend an extra period of time outside. Frequent late rain or frequent lightning and heavy rain associated with these storms as we go throughout the next couple days as well. Surface map out there showing steamy conditions continuing to be lifted up off of the Gulf and showers and storms in our forecast. As we go to our forecast lows tonight, right around 71, 72 degrees and an isolated shower still sticking around 60% chance of a scattered shower or storm for tomorrow near 91 for all of us 
And looking at our extended forecast, yeah, you see all those little lightning bolts in the forecast and the temperature is staying right there, 92, 93 degrees, afternoon showers and storms. That's a look at your seven day and your weather. Enter to win free tickets to Splash Kingdom Water Park in Shreveport, courtesy of KLAX TV. Each winner gets a family four pack and a great day of fun. Enter on our website, on Facebook or on Twitter and register to win today. Download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV. There's a swimsuit going viral just in time for the summer. It's a one piece and it's user friendly apparently. We'll give moms the dad bod they've always dreamed of. It is the sexy chest hair swimsuit from Beloved Shirts runs for 45 bucks a piece. Well, thanks for watching. Have a good night. KLAX is the exclusive provider of ABC and MeTV programming here in Central Louisiana. We're the only station where you can watch new ABC programs like Dancing with the Stars, Designated Survivor, and Grey's Anatomy, just to name a few. That's what family does. We take care of each other. I'm proud of you. The warmth of your love. And if classic TV programs like Bonanza, Andy Griffin, Batman, or Carol Burnett is more your style, then MeTV's the station for you. As an advertiser, you want your products and services presented to these loyal viewers. Our sales team is equipped to prove we can generate new customers and new revenue for your business. I'll tell you what, it pays to advertise. And we have a number of low-risk advertising programs designed to prove we work. Call our media consultant team today for a no-risk assessment on how we can help you grow your business. We're ready to prove we work. Stay connected with KLAX ABC 31. Visit us online anytime. Get today's top stories and trending topics. Like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. See our pics on Instagram. Watch us on YouTube. And make KLAXTV.com your home for local news and information. Plus, download the KLAX weather app for your smartphone or tablet. Get live current conditions, radar maps, alerts, and more. More ways to stay connected with KLAX TV.